I got a death pedal. Oh, ooh. You're living life on the edge. Oh, Come on, you gonna get on push? Let's go. Zero to 60 is going to be? Probably about 38 seconds. You always knew it was going to be a good market. There's nobody else in this field. Well, most of them come through the 175 or 195, occasional 215 or 230. We can turn them up to 300. Good luck with that. Oh, man, I feel like we're going to be here a while. <laughs> Get a nice little. All right, just pretend we're stopping real quick. All right, see how fast we can do zero to 60. Three, two, one, go. I'm just gonna floor it. All right, it's wide open. That's all she's got, guys. Come on, you gonna get up? Push? Let's go. Let's go. go. Here we go. Third gear. Come on. All right, there it is. Good. Now we got some power. It's fourth gear. All right, we made it to 30. We're at and 40. Uh oh. Oh. We did our eighth mile, but we still haven't hit. Oh, there's 50 miles an hour. Quarter mile, oh no. Quarter mile, 55. Come on, are we gonna get 60? <laughs> Almost, eight, nine, Almost. 60, yeah! <laughs> we did it. 43 seconds to the half mile, zero to 60 in uh, 38.67. I think that's, I, get... I called it. I told Maverick, 38. Probably about 38. We'll get stopped, we'll program the truck, and then we'll try this again. We're gonna get our Orion system installed, get the hardware in, we'll get it connected to the laptop, and then before we start any programming, we'll check the communications and see if there are any other modules on the bus that are uh, chattering that we need to disconnect. Um, usually we'll run into the TCM, the transmission module, occasionally the uh, ABS module. All right, so key off, COM port three. Then you're just cycling it to start the communication? Yeah. Oh, this is going to be one of those. And so the ECMs come from the factory. They're programmed for the um, configuration of the vehicle. And so speed limiter, tire size, you know, whatever the vehicle is ordered with, and they get stored on the ECM. So we read those before we do anything else with the vehicle so that we always have a working copy of that. So if for any reason something doesn't go correctly with the programming, we're able to um, always have something to fall back on. So we do, we have engine control module, transmission control, mo control module, and the ABS module. So we need to be able to shut all those off before we can program or we'll have interference with the communications. Little 10 amp fuse right there. Five amp air ABS, one and two. Or no TCM and no ABS. So I've got the information that we need and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this real quick. Uh, get the file built for it, and we'll be back out in a minute to put the new file on. Let's save it again. This is the Orion uh, main window. Shows the VIN number, the engine serial number, uh, the calibration that's in the ECM right now, the ECM serial number. So this one's actually stepped up a little bit. It's a 215 horsepower, as I mentioned, reading code four. It's an Amstar calibration, so it's really not a lot of power. Um, you yeah, know, 215. 225 or so is about the most you'll get out of a lot of these. We'll go ahead and put our tune into it. We can turn it up, our tune up to about level six or seven. And it'll give you about 400, 450 horsepower. Customer, you just sent them a tune file. So yeah. how does it work? Where do you go? Yeah, so we would go to file, open calibration. That's where we get one and we'll say full cal levels, one through seven. This is an Allison transmission. And then that's the latest version of the calibration we have. And make sure that the file is a valid file. Calibration, we're just gonna reprogram the the calibration section, right? Calibration the module. It'll read a copy of the parameters again. Anytime it writes to the ECM, um, it wipes those parameters out as part of the programming routine. So we have to always write them back in when it's done. Unfortunately, it is a slow process. Key on, modify the parameters. Road and speed limiting. Speed limiting is enabled. Vehicle speed limit is 65 miles an hour. Let's push that up to 75. And we'll go ahead and put the fuses back in and we'll be ready to take it for a ride. Fuse number two. That's always a good sound. Yeah, don't forget to lock your hood when you're done. <laughs> so one of the other nice things about the software, aside from just the programming aspect, is we have diagnostics features. So we could do, you know, read and clear DTCs, um, but we can also do digital dashboard. 
so that we can watch RPM, ICP and stuff. So we'll go ahead and start the data log. It's got to pick up like a six liter. Wow, that's a lot more aggressive. Maybe Charlie should be the one driving it. Yeah, I'm all right. It already feels snappy. Well, I'm only in level four right now. So this is where I usually tell people to start out. So this would roughly be the equivalent of about 325, 350 horsepower. It's, it's basically, it's the same injection system as a six liter. It's got a Fickham, it has the Gen 2 spool valve injectors. I'll try one and then we can see, Charlie, if you're any faster. Oh, get a little boosted <laughs> a little launch. Race. That's, that's the point. Hey, I cut like almost a whole second off with a boosted launch. Oh, you did? He did, yeah. Yeah. This seems so slow. <laughs> Come on, buddy! Here we go! Come on, it's Charlie. It, right? it's, it's all the way down, I, I promise. This actually feels much quicker than before. Alright, we gotta go around the tricycle guy. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. 55. Oh, damn, we're fast. Quarter mile. 60. What was it before? It was like 38. <laughs> what oh was my it down to 28? <laughs> there we go. We knocked off 10 seconds. 10 seconds? Oh, yeah. yeah, and that's in level four. So that's seven. And when we get back in the parking lot, we'll put it in level seven. Yeah, Charlie, you, takes... can, you can take that one for a rip. Dude. Oh, I don't yeah. Know. I don't want to be driving it. Yeah. You don't want if, to it be if it, if it, no. if it oh, drops to you, join, he doesn't want to be part of it. Exactly. <laughs> I might just hop out and hang out with Maverick while you guys do that one. <laughs> I got a duck pedal. Yeah, I got no gas. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Oh, ooh. put it in reverse and see if it'll back up. Just reverse, though. I wouldn't inch any more to drive. <laughs> That's fine, guys. I'm so surprised you parked right here for the loading of the tuna. It's like, there's a parking lot back there. Uh, try reverse. Nope, we still got no, I got no gas. Yeah, let's go in the parking lot in the shade. Nah, and load up, load I think, I think right seven. here is perfect. Nah. <laughs> you want to load yeah. up, you want to load up seven let's, or you want to drive four, Charlie? Let's, let's go in the parking lot and load, it's just, no reason to do the same tune as last time. No, let's not do neutral drops, please. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's like, please go. <laughs> Bill said no. Hey. I just you, had faith. You're living life on the edge. I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh, easy. See, this pedal is touchy isn't now. Isn't it weird? <laughs> it's got a lot of power. <laughs> All right, so where, do it's we start terrible. right on the asphalt? Yeah, anywhere is fine. All right. You're, 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 do a little boost of launch? Yeah, go, you can try. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> Alright, well we made it out of the oh, I bet I could manually shift it a little bit higher in the RPMs. I don't know why this feels so intense to me. Hey, it's it's because it's terrifying. <laughs> Eighth mile, 1650. You might have to pass this person. Hold on. <laughs> Seven, quarter mile in 25 90. 60. 60, 27, 26. I beat you by one second. You can turn these up to 700 horsepower because because you have one advantage on the six cylinder that you don't have on the V8 is that you have a lot more crank angle in between injection events which gives you a lot more opportunity for pulse width. So you're 120 degrees between firing versus 90. You have a bigger a bigger surface area of the piston, so you've got a lot more room in the bowl for fuel. Um, there's a lot more air per stroke. And that's, and that's the reason they use straight sixes in big trucks. The crank angle for firing the injectors, you know, with the fuel pushing the piston down, they can run wider pulse width. You're actually having a little cool down time in between each cylinder pulse, your EGTs actually are a little lower. They, they, they want they want these trucks to go 500,000 miles and not have any warranty issues. They can be turned up, they can make good power. 400 horsepower at 1,900 RPM, about 1,100, 1,100 to 1,200 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, more than double what it was factory, you know? It's it's crazy. We've had these calibrations out two, almost two and a half years now, and everyone, everyone's been really happy with what we've provided so far. You know, I kind of understand the appeal of the big rig racing guys. Racing something this big. It. 